going on everyone hawks 21 here back with another splinterlands video so originally i wasn't going to upload anything today um i actually am away for the weekend but as i was sort of doing a quick scroll of some of the stuff that went down today um, i was able to get my rooney waitlist spot even though that sold out in under two minutes once again that is the third sellout that Splinterlands has had this week. Um, started with Rift, or not this week, over the last two weeks, I guess. Started with Rift Watchers. That sold out in, the pre-sale sold out in under two minutes, as we all know. Uh, then Tower Defense sold out, I think in like two to three hours. Which, you know, sounds like a long time when we're talking about minutes, but we're talking about something that the game's not even made yet. The packs were $8, not including the voucher discount, so they were expensive. Um, and yeah, today the Rooney waitlist went in, or whitelist, sorry, went in, again, it was similar time to um, Rift Watchers, very, very fast, under two minutes. We are very close to Yasik, it's now under 10k, so all of this stuff, the Agrode's posting in the Discord. Also, shout out Colfi for tweeting it. He's a good follow um, on Twitter. If you're not, if you're on Twitter and not following, talks about a lot of Splinterland stuff. And the big alpha drop here was we got a little. We got our first piece of information besides the name, right, which is going to be Lux Vega, of the promo card dropped for Splinterfest. And it is going to be a neutral summoner. So when I saw that information, I had to make a video. I've thought about a neutral summoner before and how would that work? And so I just wanted to talk, talk it through with you guys. Stuff I've thought about before, outstanding questions I still have because this is the definition of game breaking or game changing and not game breaking, game changing. Because we've literally never seen this before. Before I get into the specifics, uh, I am Hawks21 and I cover Splinterlands almost every single day on the channel. I am also on Twitter, as you can see here, Hawks21Gaming, and I also have a Discord, so feel free to come in and say hello. We have some great conversations. That's the best place to reach me if you have questions. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun in there. We're, we're always having conversation every day. So yeah, a neutral summoner. So I'm just going to tell you what I think how it's going to work and how, you know, I don't think this way would be too OP, but I think it would be a really fantastic card. So let's start with just the framework of a dragon summoner, right? So the idea being you can play this summoner with another splinter, right? There was some floating around that this summoner would allow you to play any card from any splinter. I would put the chances that that happens at as close to zero as possible without it being zero. Um, just that would be too, too, too crazy and they would never do something like that. But I won't put it at zero because who knows? Uh, they really want people to go to Splinter Fest. So um, yeah, but, but there's no shot that that's what happens. So let's think about it like a dragon at first where you're gonna be able to pick this summoner and then one other splinter. You know, a lot of the dragon summoners are some of the more powerful summoners in the game, some of the more expensive summoners in the game because of your ability to combine. So from that angle, it's going to be a fantastic, well sought after card, almost regardless of the ability, just the flexibility it gives you. But they didn't make it a dragon, right? They could have just made this a dragon summoner. Nothing was stopping them from making it a dragon summoner but they made it a neutral. So what are the differences going to be? Well, the first clear thing is it's going to be available regardless of what splinters you have, right? So you, right now you can play a dragon summoner with any splinter that's available, right? But if you don't have the dragon summoner or dragon splinter available that match, you can't play that dragon summoner. So this is going to have the increased flexibility of being available for every single match. And I do think it might actually be every single match. Um, I wanna check the wording of this actually, because 
if you go here and you see, I, to, I only know the icons. If you go here and now I gotta find it, Rise of the Commons, right? You can use legendary summoners in Rise of the Commons. So if you read this, only common and rare monsters may be used in battles. So you can use a legendary summoner, but you can only use common and rare monsters. If we go to Lost Legendaries, I believe legendary monsters may not be used in battles. Okay, I think that's key, monsters. Because again, you can use legendary summoners here. Now, let's go to no neutrals. Does this say, where, where are we, here we go. Does this say monsters? I think that will be key. I actually don't know. I, I wanted to do this live. Neutral monsters may not be used in battles. So as it currently stands, given this verbiage, I think this summoner is going to be available every single battle. They might switch this around to make it so it's not in this just to give, you know, you know, one out of whatever rule sets chance that this summoner is not going to be available. But as it stands right now, I think this summoner will be available in every single rule set, except we don't know the mana cap, so maybe not Little League. Just looking right now, I think that would be the only one, unless they change the no neutrals rule set, where if it's over four mana, it won't be available in Little League. So that's pretty crazy, right? We, we don't know what specific abilities this card is going to have, right? Like maybe it's a super specific ability set that only really works with one or two splinters and then that kind of defeats the purpose. But maybe it's a super like, I don't know. So think about this, right? What if, what if it was a heal? Maybe it's just a four mana summoner with a heal, and that's the only ability that's neutral. Would that be game breaking? No. It would be a really, really awesome summoner in just being able to bring a heal to any splinter would make the card incredibly good and sought after, but I don't think it would be overpowered. And to be honest, I think that's the way they're gonna go. I don't know about heal specifically. I think it's going to be an ability, maybe it's maybe it's just triage. Maybe it's, I, I don't know what it's gonna be, but I think they might give it an ability that is sort of easy to mesh with any lineup. And that's the way I think they should go. Well, yeah, I don't really have much more to say until we get more information. This is the first drop we've had for Lux Vega of any information at all. And we are getting our first neutral summoner. I'm very excited to see how this dynamic works. You know, obviously we don't really know. It's a brand new mechanic that's gonna mean new and different things. But, you know, unfortunately I'm not able to go to Splinterfest and I'm really regretting it now. Um, but, you know, I'm gonna wanna get my hands on this card for sure, a neutral summoner. I can't wait to find out more information. There's so much exciting stuff going on. You know, this is just one of the many, many things. And I'm gonna leave it here. So if you're new here and enjoy Splinterlands content, you've come to the right place. It would be awesome if you could just take a second to like and subscribe. Um, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time for you and it means the world to me. All right, if you don't hear from me, I hope you enjoy your weekends. And, you know, next week we're expecting on Tuesday, Rift Watchers pack openings. Uh, you should be able to open your packs. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna buy any, um, let's see, where am I at right now? I'm not gonna buy any potions, but basically any I unlock um, between now and, I think right now I can get close to 125 packs. Any potions I get between now and then, uh, I'll just add it onto the pile and I'll just open however many packs I can open. Right now it's looking like around 125, which sounds awesome. So I'm going to be planning on doing that right away on Tuesday. 
I'm tempted to live stream it, but I don't have the setup to do it yet. Um, and to be honest, I don't really know how to go live on YouTube without, um, you know, camera face. You need to use other uh, equipment, not equipment, other software, which I just don't have set up yet. So I'm gonna try to look into that and see what the uptake is. But if not, it'll just be a video. Um, but I'm super excited to start opening these. I'm very excited for the cards. Okay, got a little off track, gonna stop it there. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the game and I will talk to you soon.